Monday night, owner of Hot Spot Tanning, LaDonna Ferris, put up this sign on the front door of her business, telling customers they're closed. That was three weeks after the governor ordered all non-essential businesses to shut down. But you still remained open despite that order. Yes, I... I now, uh, some people would say that that wasn't right, that that wasn't fair. I agree. So why did Ferris stay open? She said she contacted the city a few weeks ago seeking an exemption. She claimed the many services her spa provides were helping people during this difficult time. I was waiting for an answer, and I did not receive one, okay. so I was just waiting for that answer. Okay. Ferris did reduce hours. She said she and her customers practiced social distancing. She even posted on Facebook. Then police paid her a visit Monday and told her to close. My fight is not with the city council here right. at all. My disagreement is with the government overreach and their choices of what's essential and non-essential. Ferris is expressing what many closed business owners have been saying for weeks. They're suffering. This income is gone and it is not retainable. There's no way to recuperate what is lost through these months. We asked the city about that exemption Ferris wanted. They said they have been instructed to close. There's no exemption or process to apply for. Acrylic, the pillow. Like many other closed businesses hoping to open, it's now become a waiting game with economic consequences. John Rapolo, K Texas News.